During the first part of our welcome series, we talked about cruise vacations and culinary travel. Let's see what we have to say about land vacations. I do like to take land vacations though. Sometimes you do have to get off the water and go in inland. My favorite destinations that I've visited so far are Australia, Hawaii, and Ireland. And I specialize in those three destinations because I love them so much. Australia is an amazing country. It's, it's as big as if not bigger than the continental US and you've got so many different environments. You've got the Great Barrier Reef on the east side and the Ningaloo Reef on the west side. You've got the outback in the central north part of the country. Hiking and adventure, camping, all kinds of outdoors things can be done in the outback. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is an amazing place. Yes, it's a rock, but the different lights of, of the day and if it's cloudy or not cloudy, the lights just change the dynamics of the rock while you're watching. And in fact, they do a gourmet culinary experience within watching distance, not right up next to it. You have a gourmet meal, you taste some awesome Australian wines and the whole time the sun's going down and the lights are, the shadows and lights and everything are changing on the rock. It's just absolutely amazing, very magical. Craft beers are big in Australia. Uh, wines are big in Australia. Food is amazing in Australia. So if you're like me and you are into the culinary experience, you're gonna love to go to Australia. We can create a whole vacation for you just around eating, drinking, and tasting cheeses and wines and beers and all kinds of things. Ireland. I love Ireland. I was lucky enough to be able to go there on a work assignment several years ago and I lived in Killarney which is a really cute little town. But while I was there every weekend we got to take a road trip and I kissed the Barney Stone and I went to the Waterford Crystal Factory. We did the Dingle Peninsula which is absolutely my favorite. The, the landscape was breathtakingly beautiful. The Ring of Kerry was gorgeous as well and the people there are so nice and I can't wait to go back and see the parts of Ireland that I missed. Unfortunately, I wasn't there long enough to go to the north part, but it's on my bucket list. Hawaii is the perfect place to go for those people that live in the US that don't have a passport. There's four main islands to visit, four different vibes to visit. If, if you want nightlife and you want to go sightseeing the Pearl Harbor, Diamond Head, go through the Dole Plantation, you're going to want to go to Oahu. If you want a, a little less activity, but still a little more something to do, then Maui's a good choice. Lahaina is much like Waikiki used to be back in the day before it got so built up and, and Kind of crazy, fun crazy. But you've got the road to Hana, which is a beautiful, beautiful drive. And it's winding, twisting turns along the coast. And it's a rainforest and it's just absolutely amazing. If you're into hiking and adventure, for those of you that don't care so much about the nightlife, Kauai is the most beautiful place that you can go. Waimea Canyon, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific as it is known, is just absolutely gorgeous. Tons of hiking trails. Um, I just can't even tell you how beautiful it is there. You can, one of my favorite things to do is get on a catamaran excursion and go around to the Nepali coastline and, and just view the, the cliffs and the I mean, it's just amazing. I've posted a lot of pictures of that on, on my social media. And the Big Island, you've got the volcanoes. You can go visit them. You can visit the coffee plantations. Black sand beaches, beautiful golf courses. There's golf courses all over Hawaii. It's just a fun 
place to go. Beach, sand, golfing, food, wines, you name it. Hawaii is amazing. Again, no passport. We would love to thank you for watching our welcome series. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.